In this video, I want to explain the differences between a simple leaf and a compound leaf and how you would use that as a starting point to identify a tree that you haven't seen before. So here I have a simple leaf. This is a mulberry tree. Um, the parts of the leaf are the blade, which is this flat part here, basically functions like a solar panel and collects sunlight for the, for the tree. Then you have the petiole, which is a stalk that attaches the leaf to this twig here. And there's going to be a bud at that attachment point. So it's this little brown structure here. Where this leaf attaches, we call that the node. So that's it. That's a simple leaf. That's what most people think of as a leaf. So compare that to a compound leaf. This whole structure here, all these leaves are actually a single compound leaf. And it used to be, at some point in time, it used to be a single leaf and the species evolved over time where it becomes divided up like this. There can be different reasons for this. One might be you're getting a much larger leaf without having to fill in all these spaces with leaf material. It takes less energy. Um, it's windy right now and you can see that the wind can just go right through these leaves compared to having a single massive leaf that can get torn up in the wind. So for whatever the reason, there are several, there are a lot of different trees that we work with that do have compound leaves. So let's say that you're coming up on this tree and you want to take some samples or you want to take some pictures so that you can identify it. If you're only taking individual leaflets, these are leaflets, if you're only taking individual leaflets, you're going to get, a, you may not be identifying the tree right. So remember, there's a bud at the node. So if you're looking at these, the bases of these leaflets, I'm not seeing any buds here, not seeing any buds there. But if I go all the way back to the attachment point at the stem, there's the bud, this brown structure here. And if you look down the rest of this twig at this node, you have the petiole and then you have that bud. Same on the other side, you will have that bud too. So that's how you tell if it's a compound leaf or a simple leaf. If you can figure out that what you have is a compound leaf, that's going to narrow down your results by a lot because there's a lot more simple leaves than there are compound leaves. So this particular tree, this is an ash tree. Um, next to it, we have a walnut. Just a couple of other species that also have compound leaves would be um, tree of heaven, Chinese pistache, um, horse chestnut also has a compound leaf, but it's a slightly different arrangement. So I'm going to go over the different types of compound leaves in a different video and have more examples of that.